business on game day. Jake Elliott puts it in the air. Jalen Walton will watch it sail over his head on a windy day here in Memphis. Ole Miss, has it. he's got Jalen Walton back in the fold behind him at tailback. And the first play from scrimmage, play action, he finds Laquan Treadwell, one of the best wide receivers in the country, and Treadwell is able to take it for a gain of seven. You got to keep those receivers happy. Kelly will swing it out behind the line of scrimmage. Treadwell has a man, it's complete to Quincy Adebojo. A little trickery, second play from scrimmage, and Ole Miss goes 68 yards for the score. Last week on a similar play, New, Mex New Mexico State was able to tip a ball on a quick bubble screen for a Chad Kelly interception. Memphis, I'm sure, watching the film, got aggressive, came up out of coverage on Treadwell, and that left Attaboy Joe wide open down the sideline. So the first touchdown pass to here, you're going to swing it out wide to Treadwell. You see the aggression of all the defensive backs. They leave coverage. They leave out of Boyd Joe wide open, and then it's a foot race. He is a big play waiting to happen. We'll handle the kickoff duties. Short kick into the wind. Handled on the run. Oglesby gets through one man and gets brought down by two more. Good return. Takes it at Lynch, the junior from Florida, to answer. And he goes play action first play, finds Allen Cross, who flips his way. His 31st consecutive start for this red-hot Memphis program today. Lynch goes to the outside, but dropped by Phil Mayhew. A little bit low. Physical, he's hard to move. A little toss to Sam Kraft. Can't get through. Spins his way free. And Kraft able to find some yardage. Team they converts 47% on third downs. And what a difference that spin made, third and two, but the pass dropped. We'll get the call here first. Personal foul, defense number five, illegal use of the hands of the face. It's a 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Backfield, all of them versatile enough to move around in this offense, including the tight end cross emotions. Here's Kraft, got a blocker. Can't get through the first man, and he's wrestled to the ground by Kandarius Webster for a gain of We're having knee surgery. He may not return this season. Reverse look. And a throw off of it. Cross has it. Inside the five. Jalen Oglesby came around, but we've got a flag back at the 30. Oh, uh, maybe a lineman down the field. But I'll see you, and I'll raise you one trick play. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the man downfield, number 72 of the yeah. offense. Five-yard penalty, replay, second down. Yeah, it's Trayvon. Redshirt freshman from Houston. Lynch to throw now. Pocket collapses. And on the run, pumps and gets drilled. Couldn't pull the trigger. My so third and 17 for Paxton Lynch. They'll roll the pocket this time. He can run a little bit. And he fires on the run, complete. To the 30. On the field, really. Killed this drive for Memphis. Jacobs trying to kill this one at the 10. A great punt. Handled there on a fair catch. And I for over 300 yards in four of his six starts this season. Back to the bubble screen. This is Cody Corn. He wrestles his way for a first down. Let's check in with Laura. Well, we knew emotions would be a key really for both, both sides as we have flags on this one. Ole Miss has played in plenty of big games. Don't get me wrong. Ball start. Offense. Number 79, five-yard penalty, first down. But success, easy for me to say, it's ramped up what's usually been a quiet rivalry as Jalen Martin gets the kick. Kelly the throw on second and long. Complete, short of the sticks. A turn and extra effort for Laquan Treadwell, and he is right at the number. He earned the respect of his teammates and his coaching staff. Play action, Kelly going deep. What a grab! Leaving his feet is Cody Core, and he hauls it in. Finish the play. Kelly goes to the slant. Here's Core again, and he was the shoelace away from break. Alabama, four catches for 123 yards. Jalen Walton trying to change direction. He's able to pick up just two. Jannard eight. Ingram motions out of the backfield. Kelly looks left, finds Core again, and they see something. 
Already four catches, 57 yards. He gets a break. DeMaurier Stringfellow replaces him. Pump and go that way to the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. DeMaurier Stringfellow, 23 yards. They are just plentiful in terms of receivers. Stringfellow, a transfer from Washington, set, not set out because of transfer rules a year ago. But he's right in line with the other receivers in terms of big body guys, 6'2", 220 pounds, and can flat out run. Eight plays, 90 yards, 233 off the clock, two possessions. Two needs to find some offense. Short kick will trickle out of bounds, and Memphis will have better field position. The score, so the offense is there, stay within the game plan. Out of trips, they swing it out for the bubble screen. Phil Mayhew has a big game. He's into Ole Miss territory, a gain of 21. Take advantage of it. And now quick hitter to the outside, Moe's Frazier. Spins his way for extra yardage. There's a flag at the tail end of this one. Gain of eight for Memphis. SEC During the run, holding number 40 of the offense. It's a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the flag. Remains first down. Played his way into a pro prospect. As a starter here in Memphis, he finds Frazier. It's tripped up past midfield. Three of the top, or a couple of top receivers, all walk-ons. They fake the jet sweep. Lynch going deep. Got a man in single coverage, but overthrew him. Against an Ole Miss defense. Ole Miss only brings three. Lynch gets dropped. They only brought three, but three of the best. Two possessions for Memphis, two sacks for the Ole Miss D, and not a great part this time. They will check up out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Hide route at, uh, in the run and shoot. Chad Kelly, his nephew, back to work. That one may be, no, they will have been. start for Chad Kelly. Maybe a busted play there, and he'll take off with it. He can run a little bit. Both of these quarter miss. On the run, complete. Nothing doing for Taz Zettergren. To force the first punt by Ole Miss. And that one's nearly blocked. We got a flag on the play. They went into the punter. Roderick Proctor won't have a chance for a return. Will Gleason, the Ole Miss punter, face football. Foul. Kicker number 25. It's a 15-yard penalty from the spot, or from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Catch by the officials there. Flag on the play. This one never gets off. Ball start. Offense. Number one. It's a five-yard penalty. Remains first down. That's the point. Kelly over the middle. Has it batted away. 14 to nothing. Wow. All right, Cassidy, thanks. Starkville jumping the bulldog. Hey, uh, Kelly. Can't escape. Away the blue shirts come after him. First sack of the day for the man pressure. A pressure with a four down lineman on third and long. Pressure again. They get him again. Kelly somehow hands it off to his offensive lineman. Running situation again. Proctor loses the first man and scrambles his way past the American Conference. And they're unfortunate for them off to the same start today. Another flag on this one as they go to the perimeter to gain a four. An eligible man downfield, number 18. He was covered up on the line and went downfield on a pass that went beyond the line of scrimmage. It's a five-yard penalty, remains first down. Now he finally moves himself back. Cross in motion, play action. They try to dump off and it falls incomplete. Yeah, they are deep inside on, along the defensive line. First carry for Jarvis Cooper. Cooper picks up six Tony Downs thus far today. Lynch goes for the screen. Cooper's got it, and he's got the first down and lowers his shoulder for another cut. After the a personal foul, number 27 of the defense. 15-yard penalty added on to the end of the run. First down. Well, finally, some crew earning its per diem today. Cooper, full head of steam. Room on the sideline. Oh, he got trucked. Tried to cut it back, and he got dropped by. <laughs> I love a good defensive play. That one, I think the big fella's trying to cut it back, though. Second and two. Stutter steps behind the line. 
And he just got the first down. He really gave a punch to the offense. A sprint right, Lynch on the run, finds his receiver. Stops, and now they're on the move. Back to the run game, and Jarvis Cooper. Pick up a five and a first down. Stick in the red zone this season, seventh best in the country. Eighth play of the drive. Lynch will take it himself. Paxton Lynch has put on about 15 pounds, and the coaches tell him, when you get a 6'7 guy, he doesn't move like Paxton Lynch. And second and four, Cooper bounces, bends it back, and he is in. Touchdown, Memphis. job here of getting vertical at the right time and then it's just going to be Kent did he stay up long enough I think so ball just barely breaks the plane it's a nice job of running by Jarvis Cooper set it up well it was there a big hole along the Lynch has great size and he's got great leverage they go play action on the goal line Lynch gets rid of it Touchdown, Allen Cross. That's 11 touchdown passes for Lynch without an interception, and he waited until the last possible second to throw this football. Knowing I got to get rid of it, let's just squeeze one in there to Allen Cross, the tight end. Nice job. Left foot down before the right foot was out of bounds, I believe. Close. Oh, it's a right foot, pardon me. Look at the right foot. Yeah. Dragon and then the left one comes down out of point afters. And he keeps his streak going. Longest in the country. Memphis finally on the and roughing the punter penalty. The still stop holding this and get the ball back put on the score. No chance for a return. Tunsil, the All-American left tackle, has 20 starts to his name. They've made do as Treadwell makes his catch and slides to a stop by move. I guarantee you that's not happening. What a play. Kelly up play action again. And he's able to fire another one for a first down option. And so Chad Kelly charged with finding those holes and he finds Treadwell. He tries to change direction. Game tackle for Memphis. Stuff out of it that he didn't like. Really simplified it for him before he executed well. Here's Jordan Wilkins. Big down here for, for both teams. On third and one, Wilkins got stuck and then got tackled from behind to push him over the line. A lot. Uh, highly 67 percent on fourth down kelly pulls it back keeps it himself finally slides a little bit late picks up five nine and ten we're gonna do battle today so a lot's gonna give in, in those matchups here's jordan wilkins again and wilkins finally dropped after a gain of it's off balance they have done it with a quick passing game on play action kelly pump and go looking deep he's got a man good coverage and it's batted away we've got a flag on the play Dontrell Nelson was the quarterback on Laquan Treadwell. Pass interference, offense, number one. The 15 yard penalty from the previous spot remains first down. You consider any better. First and 25, Kelly throws back for the screen. Wow, great stop on Walton. Makes a nice play. Kelly looking deep over the middle, caught. Stringfellow, the gain of eight, turns to this third down for Ole Miss. Back to the air again for Kelly. Whoa, the hands for the grab. Wow. Receivers with range. Woo. Kelly has it, keeps it right side, takes a hit and takes it down. Nearly. They've got Jeremy Liggins in at right guard now. Formerly a tight end. He's leading the way. And they didn't get it. Trying to clear it for Jordan Wilkins. Here for Kandichi. Buchanan, a quarterback. Hands it off. Straight ahead. Kandichi. Didn't get it. Stopped by Memphis. Jannard Avery, the first man there. Uh-oh. Kandichi is down. Robert. Got a goal miss. Kelly tosses it. Nothing to him. Memphis comes up with the stop. Jackson Dillon, the junior from Ringling, Oklahoma. It's a loss of six for Ole Miss. Mitch hands it off to Cooper, and he fights his way for a Now, all of a sudden, his replacement's going to have to take all the snaps. Look at this formation. Ole Miss blows it up. They had four receivers. 
false start out wide. Looks like it may be Anthony Miller who may have jumped here for a minute. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense, number three. It's a five-yard penalty. Remains third down. Third year sophomore from right. Empty backfield for Paxton Lynch. Pocket collapses again. Sets, fires, complete. This is Miller. He's got the sideline. Anthony Miller takes it 30. Face the penalty. A fresh set of downs. And to the outside, back shoulder, trying to find his intended receiver, an incomplete. Second and ten. Nothing doing on the ground. Let's go back to the studio and check this after the run. Lynch fires complete. Miller breaks free. Enough for the first down. That's the kind of arm strength. I think he's the complete package. This is Cooper. He's been a This is Taylor made for a quarterback draw. Ball's tipped. Picked off. Mike Hilton's got it. They were trying to fit it into Oglesby. Good. The front. First tipped. And then Hilton, a defensive back by trade with six DBs in the field, comes up with it. Want it to happen. When you get a pass deflected and somebody picks it off that way, those almost don't even count. They shouldn't count. Holding offense, number 68. It's a 10 yard penalty. Replay first down. Four man rush. Kelly trying to step up. Can't escape it. Christian Johnson with a stop. Let's check in with Lloyd. They've taken Robert Kimdichi. And Thank you. And that's about the worst news for Kimdichi the fact that. It is indeed a head injury. Kelly off his back foot, and the traffic incomplete. Near pick by Regis. Play clock at two. Kelly gets it off. Pressure coming over the middle. Complete flag on the play. Treadwell past midfield. Larry lowers his shoulder and gets tripped up at the 40. Gain of 35 if it stands. And yeah, the bombs holding <laughs> offense. Number 64. A 10 yard penalty. Remains third down. And 60. And a punt on the back end of this. Pressure coming up the middle. Kelly lets it go. And it's caught. Hauled in after a tip by Evan Ingram. Popo from Orlando stands at the 45. Proctor. Straight up the middle. To the 40. And with 6.34 to go in the half. Lynch stops, fires, finds his tight end cross, and he's got a first down. Well, you see, we trust it. And he'll take off on the draw straight ahead and get stopped. And at the game of the yard and a half, Terry Caldwell and a tailback for Memphis. He flares out, they go over the middle. Nice move. And to the outside, it's Proctor. And he's inside the 10 for a Memphis first down season. Get up the field. Play action, end zone, batted away. Trying to fit it into cross trade. Second and goal. Dorcius. Try to churn his way, maybe picks up two. He'll take off. Lynch saw sunlight and then end of the tap. Chip shot for Jake Elliott. And he punches it through. Memphis able to put a score on the board at the six play 30. No return for Ole Miss. The Frank Beamer in Virginia Tech last season. Kelly goes down the hash mark. Tipped. Picked off. Memphis with the interception. Dion Witte played the carom. And the Tigers will get another chance this half. Uh, the tip drill and both quarterbacks have thrown the two interceptions by both quarterbacks have been on tips by receivers where you thought it would be in their hands. Kelly times this just right. Accurately thrown ball. Should be a catch. Maybe a little bit behind Markel. 3.40 to go in the half. Lynch looks for his tight end. 
He finds Cross, and that is a loss of three. Mike Hilton with the coverage. What a big possession, a big turnover. Go oh, attack. He's looking deep. No, he checks down, and that one's nearly picked. Woodrow Hamilton was there, and we got a flag on him. Roughing the passer, number six of the defense. It's a 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Jet sweep action. Lynch keeps it. Fires. Caught. Inside the five to Dor Dorcius and Ole Miss is set. That's a catch. Get the snap off. Here's Sam Kraft. Touchdown, Tigers, their first lead. This is what they like to do with Kraft. They mentioned earlier, they'll line him up in the slot with Cooper in the game a lot and run the speed sweep to him. He's a nice edge runner, has good size at six foot, 210. Memphis right back in this game. Remember all the mistakes, the miscues early by Memphis. Kept hanging around, getting themselves off the field on third downs, and now find themselves about to go up here 17-14. Elliott's extra point is good. Fifth rushing. You see the end around. They give it to Kraft. A nice job of sealing things up. Dorcius with a nice block himself to help. Vaults him into the rankings, puts him in play for a New Year's Day Bowl, and so much more his footing right back under him in the line to play aggressively. Trey well, five catches today. Kelly looking for him. Number one has it slipped through his footy here in the second quarter. This one complete to the edge. There you go. Get you a nice, easy completion. Straight ahead, and we'll see where the marks the field. A turnover here gives Memphis great field position. They didn't Kelly get it. stood up behind the line. Pagis, the first man there. Chad Kelly was screaming at the sideline to go for it on fourth down. Well, there's no way. He got a, a free rusher off the edge. They got right into his chest and turned him. And Memphis going to ride all types of momentum right now right off the edge you see 53 you get right to him well this is an excellent job nobody catches him he doesn't he's just free to the quarterback nice tackle and he turns him back the other way rather than allowing him to turn his legs on the outside safety is gone Lynch keeps it straight ahead Reaches forward to pick up the second yard. DJ, a quarterback that can spray it around the park. Pump and go. Lynch pressured. Will roll. And he fires. And that one's almost intercepted. It went right through. Went off, and he looked like he was just trying to throw it away. Lynch trying to set up the wide receiver screen. A change of direction. And a flag on the play. Anthony Miller had to hang a U turn. Holding offense number 40. It's a 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It'll remain third down. Cross in motion. Long throw, caught. This is Miller. He's stretching for the chains. Miller may have the first down, Tom. He is. Fresh set of downs. Memphis has three timeouts. Miller in the backfield now. Lynch looking. Fires. Got it. To the six yard. Yeah. Gordon Dorsius is the tailback. Lynch. Fires. It is caught. Touchdown, Memphis. Anthony Miller again. A six yard strike. This is thrown perfectly low and in front. Right down there where the defensive back can't make a play on it. He rolls over. That's the biggest game for Memphis. The Tigers open up a 10-point advantage with 34 seconds. A tight one with Vandy. Blowouts to start the season. Better than 70 points each of the first two games. Kickoff handled on a hop. He lost his foot and lost the ball. Jalen Walton, lucky 
to get back. Walton tries to squeeze it to the outside, and he's able to get out of bounds to stop the clock. To the edge, Treadwell kept his feet and down the sideline for another nice gain. Ole Miss was a contender. He'll go out of this. Kelly, all day, dropped in the backfield. Gotta get to receive for the Tigers. They've scored on three consecutive possessions. And he'll bring it out. Oglesby gets stuck at the 18-yard line. Fourth year junior from Deltona, Florida. He wants to throw. They try to set up the wide receiver screen. A little bit of room for Miller who jumps through. Let's go down the field and check in with Laura Rutledge. Beach. So second and three to the bubble screen. This is Mayhew. He's got to pass the 30 in a Memphis first down, a gain of eight. We need a stop in the worst way. Lynch has a little room on the edge. What an arm, and he threw it through. Anthony Miller scores, and one pick on a deflection. And a handoff to Sam Kraft. Empty backfield here. They motion cross. Long throw to the perimeter, wow. complete for a first down. That is Anthony Miller again. He Five of his seven catches have come on third downs. Here he is again on first down. Anthony Miller breaks free for a moment. He's got another first down. That one picks up on a walk on. He's over 100 yards receiving to the slant in Miller. And it's easy to see Paxton Lynch has found it. Was rushing a little bit. He settled in nicely. Big hit up front on Sam Kraft. Kraft able. Lynch stops, fires. Another falling grab. This time it's Mose Frazier. This is the 10th play of the drive for Memphis to start the second half. Lynch sets up, goes deep, looking in zone. Cut. Touchdown, Mose Frazier. A 31 yard strike. This is just a short roll to the left and then a nine route. Going to give an inside move. I'm just going to get it. Nice job pulling up, finding the football, and Frazier able to come down with it inbounds. Some throw, though, by Paxton Lynch. Memphis came to win today. Four straight possessions from Memphis have ended in scores now. Puts it in the air. Walton comes up to the 15. A well, great field position, maybe more. And he takes it nearly to the 35 yard. No points of interception. They've come up big. Here's Walton. Skates his way to a gain of five over the left side. Good that they could bounce back like they had. They can keep Paxton Lynch healthy. I don't know that I've seen a performance walking around from Memphis. Looks like the old Jolie Dunn defense back in the day. Kelly steps up, lets it go, incomplete. Now, change since that point in the game early. Good kick, chases Proctor back, kicks out of bounds. Back to three undefeated remaining in the American. Big hit for. Ole Miss is Cincinnati, US, USF. This is a great timing on the option pitch to Tevin Jones. This uh, Met American, the winner of the American, you can keep it up. You're playing on New Year's Day. Well, based on the schedules of, of Memphis and in the season, I, I scratch my head as how's, how's Temple beat Penn State? Here we and go. Ranked. Little razzle dazzle again. Trying to escape his Goglesby, and he takes a major loss on this play. Ole Miss looking to get back in this game. There's a cross to tie in, making another catch and track. Well, that's throwing a guy. Have certainly taken notice of what Paxton Lynch has done this season and again today for sure. Got to go back shoulder that time. Aiming for Tevin. Spencer Smith facing pressure. 
It'll take a Memphis hop. Fielded on the run by Collins Moore. And dropped his knee down. They're as high as number three this season for the second consecutive season. Kelly throws down the sideline. He's got oh, his man. That's Cody Core. And a first down for Memphis. What a, a throw for Ole Miss. There's a, he does exactly that to beat the coverage. Straight ahead, Jalen Walton. To the 35. Walton has room. To the afternoon. Kelly looking that way. Said he goes to the outside. Treadwell forces his way down the sideline. Dontrell Nelson couldn't get him down. To the end zone. Treadwell's got it. He's in. Touchdown Ole Miss. Six-yard strike to LeBron Treadwell. It just looks so easy. The entire drive decided to mix a little bit of Jalen Walton into that drive and some of the running game, and that opened up some things outside to Treadwell. Von Cooper trying to protect his wide receiver after Memphis grabbed Treadwell's leg late. Chad Kelly, second touchdown pass of the day. Found a rhythm for Chad Kelly in that drive. Five plays, 68-yard scoring drive. 104 off the clock. That's a first score for Ole Miss. It's nice in a holy field fight. Met different dynamic in this ball game today against the number 13 ranked team in the country. Different landscape. Here's Dorsius. Great run right through that Ole Miss D. But the running game in, it was done quickly. How do you respond? Quick hitter to the outside. Big stick by Trey Elson. That's 35-40% Ole Miss. This is the kind of games you should be getting up for. Big hit there. And in the slot. Finally. Looks over here and covers him up. Lynch goes to the flat. Complete for a first down. It's Dorsius the sub protection. Catches the ball well out of the backfield. Play action. Lynch gets it to the outside again. This is Proctor. And he picks up seven. Yeah, it's up. Back to Dorsius. And Dorsius gets swamped. On third and six. Going deep. Over through Miller. Coverage outside the five. Fair catch taken. This is Ingram to tie it in. And he takes it right into the stick. Just as much as those the other three can. That was his third catch. Kelly. Goes back to the outside. Nifty move. Laquan Treadwell still on his feet, and he turtles up. By this Ole Miss offense. Treadwell over 100 yards now. Down the sideline to him. Pardon me, that was Cody Core, and it's just off of the shoulder pads. Dontrell Nelson with the coverage. Plays, they gave up one to start that last scoring drive. 53rd play of the day for Ole Miss's offense. Ingram, the tight end, with his fourth catch of the game. On the field as an outside linebacker for Memphis. They show blitz. They bring four. Kelly in traffic. Fits it in. Laquan Treadwell with a first feed. Nice throw to the outside shoulder. And now over the middle. Quick hitter to the top. This time, he's able to find Stringfellow. I think the difference here has been... ...ourselves. Go faster. Go faster. Temple's a goal. Now on a pump and go. He fits it in once again inside the 15. Just... Ninth play of the drive. Kelly gathers. Fires! That's Treadwell again. Things mixed up and confused. Kelly under center. Fires to Treadwell. Slips before he can make a move. That will bring up third down. Just give him that... That, that cushion. Kelly goes right, lobs it too much. Trying to find Ingram. This university school. And there's the field goal. Ole Miss able to add it 31 24. Let's go back to the studio and check in with Cassidy. Memphis in the offense. No return for Memphis.
16 seconds. You got to move the football here if you're Memphis. And Lynch completes it to Jalen Oglesby. And the other part, the other part for Memphis left in the tank. It's a touchdown lead for the Tigers. Out of the pistol now. Lynch hands it off. Sam Kraft couldn't break through. It's a loss of one. Ryan with can come downhill. We're thinking first down here. They show jet sweep again. Lynch keeps it. And he is held short. And now Memphis will have to kick it away. I thought that was a basically a waste of a down on, on second. Ole Miss came after it, nearly got it. Collins Moore inside the 20. May have been a block in the back, no flag there. And Moore, no chance to break free. If you're Galen Scott, he doesn't care. He says, I don't care about yards and stats as long as we win football games. The W is the only thing that matters. Complete to Cody Core. With it. Second down, eight. Jalen Walton. Memphis product out of Ridgeway picks up four. Two guy on third down. Kelly stands tall and misfires over the top of Evan Ingram. And it sails high on Chad Kelly. Roderick Proctor back for Memphis. Fair catch asked for, and he catches it at the 40. 36 yard punt. 12 32 remaining for him early today. Paxton Lynch goes to the slant ball, is dropped incomplete. Yeah, Terry linebacker position. Dorlin Dorsey is now in a tailback. Play action to the jet sweep. Long pass outside. Caught! It's Anthony Miller again! Ninth catch of the day for Miller, 123 yards. Lynch pressured from the right side. A little stiff arm will create space. <laughs> He's an established starter. He caught a lot of heat in the decision making, caught a lot of heat here in the area. Now he shows option. Gorsius. And then they Lynch out of town and didn't think he was ready, but how mature is he? Oh my goodness. Wow. He found Miller. Why he did it off his back foot. But oh boy, he made the throw. Looking for the screen to Oglesby. He only picks up two scores, you mean, with a, with just a field goal. It makes it a tough way to come back. Inside the 20 goes Dorsius. Gain of four. Play action again. Lynch chased. Lobs. Nobody there. We got a flag down. Kick was good. We got a delay again. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is something that will just drive Justin Fuente crazy. Look at game. Offense. It's a five-yard penalty. Fourth down. No matter. <laughs> could have been a 15-yard penalty. Still would have been good. Jake Elliott extends the Memphis lead. 10 point and it's certainly needed here. Jack Kelly, 30 of 40, 300 in a position to win. And we're going to see right here, they basically have to score here. He finds Quincy at a boy show on the first play. In coverage, knowing where and when to give the football. They turn to the ground game, and it looked like Jordan there and communicate better. My Lord, thank you. Second and 11. Kelly goes deep down the sideline. Treadwell over through. Will they bring pressure? Here they show comes, corner man. blitz. Kelly pump and go. Lobs core. Gets taken out of bounds. Incomplete. Yeah, he, he was a little slow to get up. Maybe discouraged because he didn't come back. Back to receive this punt. Proctor scrambles his way past the 20. 30 yard punt. Packed house at the Liberty Bowl. And Memphis gets swarmed and stopped. It's a loss of four. They haven't faced a defense like this this season. Lynch fires it out to the perimeter. And Mose Frazier picked the leverage of a fast and quick defense like this one. Third down, eight. Three man rush. Whistled in for completion to Frazier. This, this kid is the real deal. 
Lynch's numbers on third down are mind blowing. On play action, he lets it go. He finds his tight end. Daniel. And as mobile as he is. And now Jarvis Cooper. Well, he barely played his senior year of high school. He played blind faith, and that has paid off on second and eight. Cooper again. Mike Hilton with the stop. There's my point right there. Instead of trying to run. Two. There's another first down. Pick up a five for Jarvis Cooper. But then you still need you, you still need two scores just to tie the game. Here's Frazier. Taken down by CJ Hampton. The stamp is trying to go to 6-0 on the year. Craft the man in motion. They give it back with a little counter look. And big room on the right side for Jarvis Cooper. Cooper, the running back. Picked up 10 last time. There he is between tackles again. Takes it inside the 25 for Paxton Lynch. Cooper. Stood up after a gain. There's a jet sweep, Sam Kraft. And he takes it inside the 10. And a first down for Memphis. Opponent. It's Peyton Manning, Tennessee in 1996. Movement on the left side. Here. Yeah. Montiel, the tight end. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense, number 80. Five-yard penalty, still first down. Yeah, I'm interested when the committee, when they come out and start ranking teams November 3rd, we're in Memphis after a win like this and they continue to win where they would be ranked Memphis when they take on Navy Houston and then Temple yeah I think we learned a lot about him today we learned a lot you and I watching Paxton Lynch for the first time and we learned those don't really count he completed nearly 74 percent of his passes it's his SEC defense. good day and age for, to be a Memphis Tiger football fan 27 yard attempt for Jake Elliott and Elliott Able to add to the lead. Ask Justin Fuente, why'd you take this job? You were Gary Patterson at TCU. You guys had a lot into the Lions then in their SEC schedule after today. No return that time for the Rebels. I think we got sandbagged by Justin Fuente yesterday. Kelly gets back here. Let it go incomplete. I mean, sitting down with him, just like <laughs> a couple of haymakers early in this ball game, hung around, and we're in it at the end. Kelly completes it to Treadwell after suffering his second loss. I say gave up a bunch of yards that allowed Ole Miss to convert. He started bringing pressure on Chad Kelly. This is strength, fellow. He's got a touchdown today. And he drops to the field with 24 seconds left. Started bringing pressure, got him off his launch, launch pad, made him uncomfortable, and that really changed the course of this game for the Memphis Tigers. This is the fifth time this season Memphis has come from behind to win a game. They did it against Kansas, Bowling Green, Cincinnati, and two weeks ago. Picked off! An exclamation point for Memphis. And for the first time since 96, they'll knock off the ranked team. Arthur Millette with his second pick of the day for the Tigers defense. This is what it looks like for the Memphis coaches. Yep, handshakes all the way around. Justin Fuente with a signature win as a head coach. He's still coaching, telling Millette to get down. Don't fumble that thing away and give it back and give Ole Miss a chance to, to get the ball back. Get down, let's go kneel down and get out of here. Our final score, Memphis 37, Ole Miss 24.